How to be brave How can I love when I'm afraid to fall But watching you stand alone All of my doubt suddenly goes away somehow We're all here today in this beautiful setting. Isn't this a great setting for a wedding? We're here in the presence of God to unite Roy and Amanda in marriage. The Bible teaches us that marriage is to be a permanent relationship of one man and one woman freely and totally committed to each other as companions for life. Our Lord declared that a man shall leave his father and mother and unite with his wife in the building of a home and the two shall become one flesh. Who gives the bride to be married? Roy and Amanda, the home is built upon the word love. And this word, this virtue, is best portrayed in the 13th chapter of Paul's letter to the Corinthians, which says, Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud or arrogant. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. And it records no wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but it rejoices with the truth. And it always protects. It always trusts. It always hopes. Always perseveres. In other words, love never fails. And I just pray that Roy, that you and Amanda, that your love for each other will flow out of God's love for you. Now marriage is a companionship. It's a relationship. 
which involves a mutual commitment and responsibility. So what you're going to be doing is sharing and sharing a life, right? You're going to share a lot of things. You're going to share the joys of life as well as other things that are going to be going on as well. Now when companions share a sorrow, that sorrow is cut in half. But then on the other hand, when you share a joy, that joy is doubled. And just picture a triangle. Put God at the top of that triangle. And Roy, you'll be on one side. Amanda, you'll be on the other side. And just remember this. That the closer that you get to God, the closer you're going to get to each other. Now if you would, if you both face each other, And I understand that you both have written some vows. So, now this is going to be one time. Usually you say, ladies go first, right? But in this instance, we're going to let the man go first. Because this is going to be one of the very first times, one of the last times he's going to get to go first. So we're going to let Roy go first, too. Marriage is our last, best chance to grow up. From the moment I first saw you, I knew you were the one that really wanted to share my life. Your beauty, heart, and mind inspire me to be the best person I can be. I promise to love you for eternity, respecting you, honoring you, being faithful to you, and sharing my life with you. This is my solemn vow. Still photos are just brief moments in time. People will hold on to them forever. I want to have a still photo in my mind of you, me, and the kids. And I can take the deed forever. When I am asked about how long we have been together, I feel that I don't know the answer. I don't look at it that way. I feel that I've been, I feel that you have been with me always. Be the strongest husband, father, and man that I can be. I need you when you need it, and I will follow you when I need it. Follow when you need you to show me the way. I want you to know that nothing in this world has more sparkle, shine, or attraction for me than you. Even though I may not say it often, you take my breath away, you give my life meaning. Amanda, today I become your husband, and you become my wife. I will strive to give you the best of myself while accepting you the way you are. I promise to respect you as a whole person with your own interests, desires, and needs, and to realize that those are, those are sometimes different, but no less important than my own. I promise to keep myself open to you, and let you into my innermost fears and feelings, secrets and dreams. I promise to grow old with you, to be willing to face changes we both change, keeping our relationship alive and exciting. And finally, I promise to love you in good times and bad, with all I have to give and all that I am. I will pour my heart and soul into our life together, in the only way I know how, completely and forever. If you live to be 100 years old, I want to live 100 years minus one day so that I never have to live without you. On the day that I close the door to my old life, unbeknownst to me, God chose to open the new door to a new wonderful life on that same day for that day. That day was the, God, the day that God sent me here, and that was one of the best days of my life. Since then, Roy, you have been my rock. When I felt that I was at my weakest and lowest point, I know that during our time together, our love has been put to the test, but we have made it. And throughout all of the trials and tribulations we have endured, our relationship and love has become stronger than I could ever imagine. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. 
for everything that you have done for me and Daniel. I know that you haven't had or didn't have to take him as your own son, but you have been the father that he has always needed. I promise to be the best mother that I can be for Brianna and Riley, and I promise to hold you and our family in my heart until the end of time. I vow to you unconditionally to be faithful to you until my dying breath, to honor and respect you, to laugh with you, cry with you, to share my hopes and dreams with you, and to be your rock in your times of need. I know that life isn't going to be easy. No life ever is. Some days it will be really hard, and we're going to have to work at keeping our love strong. But I do want that because I want you. I want all of you, forever, every day, you and me, always and forever. I love you, Roy Beeson. You are my best friend and soulmate, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. You'll all join me in prayer. Father, hear these commitments and vows that both, that both Roy and Amanda have made, not only to one another, but also to you. I just pray that you honor their words and that you bestow your grace upon this marriage and seal this commitment of this your children with your love. Lord, bless this marriage as Roy and Amanda begin their journey down the road of life together. Give them the strength and patience necessary to live their lives in a Christ-like manner that will mutually bless themselves and honor your holy name. For it is in Jesus' name that I pray these things. Amen. Now we're going to have a sand ceremony. Plenty of sand. Today, Amanda and Roy... You are making a commitment of your eternal love for one another as well as to your children, to Daniel Kimberly, to Riley Deason, and Brianna Tarantino. As you each hold your sand, the separate containers of sand represent your lives to this very moment, which is individual and unique. As you now combine your sand together, your lives also join as one, as one family. It's like a storm that cuts a path, it breaks your will, it feels like you think you're lost, but you're not lost on your own. You're not alone. I will stand by you. I will help you through. When you've done all you can do and you can't cope, I will.
Cause I will stand by you. I will help you through when you don't know what you can do and you can't go. And I will dry your eyes. I will find your fire. I will hold you tight and I won't let go. Oh, 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 I'm gonna hold you and I. These wedding rings that we have right here are a symbol of marriage in at least two ways. First, the purity of gold symbolizes the purity of your love for each other. And secondly, the unending circle symbolizes the unending vows that you are taking, which may be broken honorably only by death. Token of your vows, we're going to now give and receive these wedding rings. And Roy, if you'd please grab yours and place on Amanda's finger and repeat after me with this ring, this ring. I, Roy, take you, Amanda, I, Roy, take you, Amanda. to be my wedded wife, wedded wife. to have and to hold. From this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, love and to cherish, till death do us part, till death do us part, and from this day forward, from this day forward. I pledge you my faithfulness. I pledge you my faithfulness. All right, Amanda. If you will place this ring on Roy's finger and repeat after me. With this ring. With this ring. I, Amanda, take you, Roy. I, Amanda, take you, Roy. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer. <laughs> and poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. And from this day forward. I pledge you my faithfulness. I pledge you my faithfulness. Now, I would like you both to repeat after me these commitments to each other. And this is actually out of the book of Ruth, chapter 1, verse 16. It says, Where you go, I will go. Where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people. Your people will be my people. Your God will be my God. Your God will be my God. Now, since they have made this commitment before God and before all of you out there as witnesses, by the authority vested in me by the gospel of Jesus Christ, I declare that Roy and Amanda are now husband and wife. And Roy and Amanda... You are no longer two independent persons. You are now one, just like you did with the sand. I now have the honor and privilege to present to you for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Roy and Amanda Geeson. Tried to beat 
chill, but you're so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Before the cool done run out, I'll be giving it my best. This and nothing's gonna stop me but divine intervention. I reckon it's again my turn to win some or learn some, but I won't hey It's a take no more, no more. It cannot wait. I'm yours. Just to try to see it clearer But my breath fogged up the glass And so I drew a new face And I laughed I guess what I'll be saying is There ain't no better reason To rid yourself of vanities And just go with the seasons It's what we aim to do Our name is our virtue